Well, here we are, another uh, sleepless night, and another episode of Anarchist Child Custody. Now, I'm, uh, it's really interesting that I got uh, involved with this. Um, I'm involved with a a new website called Fanbox, and, uh, what it is, is it's a, uh, it's a social network where people, uh, are able to share their content and derive, uh, income from it. Um, then you can also, uh, market products goods and services uh, with the income that you can make from fan box and uh, buy stuff that you actually need to, uh, you know, uh, enrich your life. So what I was doing was uh, I was checking out uh, Jennifer Starks. She was one of the first uh, people that, um, I uh, checked out and uh, or uh, that I got involved with and uh, Jennifer I'm not sure if Jennifer is really a, a woman or a man or you know with some of these people you never know what the heck they are but it's very admirable that she has a missing children by Jennifer Starks uh, blog which I'm gonna follow and uh, and this one here is the one that got my attention. I've gone through and I've liked about three or four of these. And, um, you know, I thought I was going to be able to get through more of them. But um, it's this one that really got my goat. And it says here, you know, uh, Henderson Berryman posted in Missing Children, Missing News, Case Type Family Abduction, Date of Birth, 9... 9th of December, 2003, missing date, January 24th, 2008, age now, 8, missing city, Jacksonville, Florida, United States, Uh, this is an old boy, Caucasian, 3 foot 6, 170, 107 centimeters, weight of approximately 40 pounds, 18 kilograms, hair color, blonde, eye color, blue. Okay, now this is what gets me. Circumstances. Garrett's photo was shown pre... Shown age progressed... To six years. Okay, so this is what he was like back in 08. And uh, this is uh, four years later. He was allegedly abducted by his mother... Catherine Berryman on January 24th, 2008, a felony warrant was issued for Catherine on September 11th, 2008. Okay. This woman is not an anarchist. In fact, this woman is a statist. Because she's actually complying um, with the state and um, actually kind of uh, per- perpetrating the whole reason that the state says that it needs to exist. The state says it needs to exist to protect the children. Yeah, well, um, I don't think the state of Florida did... Uh, Uh, Garrett Alexander Henderson Berryman any good. Now, the thing is, is that first off, what what really is weird about this is one, I am uh, the survivor of a child abduction. My daughter Katie was kidnapped uh, in 1994 
while I was serving on active duty in the United States Navy in San Diego, California. And uh, I was notified that she was missing and that uh, a body had been discovered in a uh, dumpster. And there were uh, burnt remains found in the dumpster. And uh, the coroner and the police seemed to think that was uh, Katie. So, you know, I had to submit to DNA testing, and um, thank goodness, like some of these um, parents, because, I mean, it's sheer hell not knowing where your kid is, what's happening with them. Because I don't care, like uh, the one that I reviewed before this, it was a, a teenage kid that was 16 years old, a boy, you know. And uh, sure, a kid can take care of himself, and who knows what's going on at home that made him leave, you know. But, uh, you know, it's never good when a family breaks up like that. And why is that? Well, isn't it because of the state? Isn't the state most of the cause of all the problems that cause the, the breakup of the family? And then you have mothers, fathers, parents. I mean, we don't even know what, what, what the deal is with Catherine. I mean, Catherine could be very much like myself. You know, she could be a, uh, you know, she should, could suffer from, you know, mental illness that is not being treated properly. And, uh, or, you know, uh, you know, who knows what's going on? We don't know. And the thing is, is when we give the state a monopoly on application of force the the police and you know uh, child protective services the family court system can step in and totally screw up a perfectly normal situation you know or they can step in like in my situation where my original intent was to raise a sovereign child, a, so a child without a birth certificate, social security number, uh, any of the monetization problems that uh, uh, um, most children go through because the state monetizes you with that birth certificate and then your property. And um, I wanted something different for my for my daughter, Bella. And, uh, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. So, uh, now, uh, Bella just turned six years old, uh, last December. And I've been trying to speak to her for, uh, now almost two months. I keep calling her mother, messages and stuff. And uh, I really would like to speak to her because... Katie was six when she was murdered. And uh, this brings a lot of anxiety to my mind because Bella lives right down the street from some sex offender. And uh, when I was, uh, before I sought treatment, when I sought treatment at the bottom of a Jim Bean bottle, uh, I used to relish in the thoughts of doing vengeance upon the uh, perpetrator exactly the same as they did to Katie. But then I figured out, you know what, I don't even know who this person is. Cops came to figure out who it is. And uh, so what, I'm going to carry around this anger like this for the rest of my life. And, uh, you know, so I, you know, I try not to, but that still does not overcome my PTSD symptoms where I'm constantly thinking about the, the welfare of my child because she lives down the street from some psycho that might kill her this year. 
and uh, I've uh, I was supposed to have a VA appointment today, but uh, the fucking VA is closed because it's uh, President's Day. Yeah, isn't that fucking nice? Anyway, this is uh, Chris McGraw, I Mercury, just making a, a another anarchist uh, uh, child custody video. Be sure to visit uh, our website, imercury.info, uh, to uh, find out more information about uh, the project, uh, the non-aggression principle, and uh, anarchism in general. It's not what you think it is. Because guess what? Guess who's telling you about anarchism? The state-controlled media. Mm. Don't believe it, folks. Check it out for yourself. This is Chris McCraw, Mercury out. Thanks for watching. You have an awesome day.